Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am <laughs> completely barefaced, I have no makeup on whatsoever and that is because I thought I would do the £20 makeup challenge which has been interesting to say the least. I haven't done one of these on my channel before. Um, I don't actually quite know why because I do buy a lot of drugstore makeup but I've just never sat down and thought you know what I'm going to go out specifically to buy a full face of makeup for £20 or under and see what it looks like so I thought I would do that and the shop that I chose to go to was Superdrug. I did have a look in Boots but they only really had Collection and Barry M that was slightly more discounted and everything else was kind of like premium drugstore like L'Oreal, Revlon, that kind of thing and they were just too expensive to do create a full face of makeup on my budget so I went to see the drug because they have brands like MUA, Makeup Revolution and that kind of thing, collection so I thought it was a really good time to go in and have a look and the £20 makeup challenge first impressions because every single thing I bought I have never tried before so it's going to be super interesting, I'm going to apply it on camera, tell you guys what I think and hopefully make myself look a bit more presentable for when I go out later on today so I'm just going to get started so this is my super drug bag and I have my receipt here as well. I'm going to start with the base as well and the foundation that I chose to go for was one by Collection and this is the Illuminating Touch which is meant to give skin a natural luminosity. So I'm going to apply that today and I have it in the shade Warm Beige number 4 and I haven't tried anything from Collection before and I've heard great things about the concealer so I thought I would give this a go. So I'm going to apply that now with my Louise Young foundation brush. Oh it's looking a little bit light for me. It's looking very very light indeed. Um, I'm hoping that I can warm this up with a bit of bronzer. Um, oh dear, very, very light. But I'm going to apply it and see what it looks like. It's going to make me look about 10 shades lighter than I actually am, but it feels nice. Like it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the skin, which is nice. And it's quite pleasantly scented as well, which you don't normally get with cheaper foundations, so that's good. Oh dear, very, very light. I don't think there's anything warm about this foundation at all. To say this is the medium um, tone, I would say girls of an olive nature may struggle with this or if you tan on a regular basis. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Even though the shade is really light for me, it's actually a really nice foundation. It's giving me decent coverage, my pores look smaller, it's nice and even, it's very, very light and it has given me a bit of luminosity and a bit more brightness to my skin. Now, if the shade matches you, I would say definitely a decent foundation and for the price that I paid for it, I can't complain. And this cost £5.99, which is very, very cheap for a foundation, especially if you spend the likes of high-end like I do sometimes. Um, and the packaging is really nice as well. So. I'm actually really impressed with that, even though the shade hasn't matched me perfectly, um, I actually quite like the finish that it's given me and the texture and the lightness of it, it's really nice. Because I was worried with the degree of coverage that that would give me and the fact that I didn't opt for a concealer, I decided to buy a matte uh, perfecting loose translucent powder, which I'm going to apply now because I have a feeling that this is going to be slightly light for me as well and I don't want to apply it on top of my bronzer because that's going to take away some of the warmth. So the one that I chose was the Makeup Academy Matte Perfect Loose Powder in Translucent. Now this does have a little bit of pigment as you can see. So I'm just going to apply this very, very sparingly just because again, it, it's looking quite light, uh, which is fine because it's translucent, but because my foundation is also quite light, I don't want to look like a zombie. Let's give it a little bit of a whirl and give it a try. It's very nice and light. Um, Yeah, I'm happy with it. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's nice and light. It's given me an extra bit of coverage. It's made everything look a bit more even. So I'm happy with that. Obviously, I've got to wait and see how the makeup lasts throughout the day. And I will update you guys um, because I always like to do that, especially with new products because I've never used any of these before. But I can't complain about this. It feels really, really nice. It's definitely evened everything out a little bit more. And this cost £2.50. £2.50. That's insane. So yeah happy with that so far can't wait to see how it develops throughout the day then i'm going on to contouring with contouring i chose makeup revolution i've used makeup revolution products before i haven't used this specific product but because this was so cheap i think it was like three pounds fifty or three pounds i got three products i thought it's a really good one to use in terms of the challenge because it's going to do a number of different things so this is a highlighter a, and two bronzing shades which I've got this in the shade medium, I think they do it in light, medium and dark, um, really nice, they're really pigmented, 
um, and I think you get that with Makeup Revolution. I'm going to start with my contouring and actually I'm going to go into the um, dark one first and I'm just going to do a bit in my hollow. Then I'm going to do a bit of general bronzy with this one and then I'm going to highlight. So I'm just going to dip my brush into this darker shade here. I'm going to suck my cheekbones in and follow my hollow. <laughs> oh wow. This is super pigmented. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with this. I'm going to have to blend that in significantly. I think it's looking a lot more intense on camera than it does in real life. Actually, this does not look as intense as I can see it in the viewfinder. However, it is very, very intense. Um, it has blended out quite nicely. However, it is, it is still pretty dark. This is the medium shade, so I'm going to apply it as it is because I feel like this is a genuine first impression. If I start going over it with different things, it's not really that genuine. I'm going to pop the same amount on this side and I'm going to really try to blend it out, but it is pretty dark. Right, I have blended this out as much as I physically can without really buffing off the foundation that I applied and it is really dark, however I am sat in front of a natural window with natural lighting and it does look a lot more intense on camera than it does in real life, so you know, that is something to bear in mind. It's actually not as intense as it looks, so I do like it. However, I would definitely say I would opt for this shade as the bronzer in the future. I'm going to take this fluffy brush here and I'm just going to apply it to the um, shimmery bronzer and just apply it around my temples and that sort of area just to give me a bit more life to my complexion because I'm looking like a vampire at the moment, especially with these contour cheekbones now. Okay, so that's the cheekbones done. I'm just going to do a bit of highlight now. And I'm going to use the highlighty shade, which is this middle one here, this nice kind of champagne. And I do like the colour of this, like, it's swatched really, really nicely. I'm just going to pop it on top of my cheekbones, just to give myself a bit of luminosity and a bit of brightness. Um, I can see in the mirror, it's probably not translating on camera as well as I would like, but it is giving me a really nice shimmer to the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, so I'm going to move on to blush, and this is the Makeup Academy blush, and this was a pound, so I was really happy with that. This is actually a cream blusher, um, if you guys have watched my recent video, you'll know that I'm really into cream products at the moment, and I haven't actually tried any budget cream blushes, so I'm really excited to give this a go. This is what the shade looks like, and I opted for a really nice peach. I'm just going to pop it apples with my cheeks. So that's my complexion pretty much done. It's okay. I think you know what? If you're on a budget and these shades suit you, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the texture and formula over a lot of this makeup. It's all gone on really nicely. So I'm going to move on to brows. This is actually an eyeshadow for Makeup Revolution again, and it was a pound. It's just like a chocolate brown, right? Especially considering the fact that it was a pound as well. So if you can find a shade that suits you, or if you just like it in terms of a colour for eyeshadow, then this is priced really, really well. Let's see how it goes. really like that, really happy with it, you know, can't complain, it's just as good as my L'Oreal, um, which I absolutely love, so it doesn't have any wax with it, but the brow kits do, but because I wanted to be a bit of a skin fling and buy it for a pound, I got the eyeshadow, so yeah, like that. Okay, I'm going to move on to my eyes next, and even though eyes aren't really an area that I, I tend to do all the time, generally on a day-to-day -day basis, don't really wear eyeshadow just because I find it really time-consuming, unless it's a cream eyeshadow. I did decide to get one today for the purpose of the video, because a lot of people do wear eyeshadow, and I feel like it's a pretty big part to miss out, especially when it comes to the budget. So I opted for something from Makeup Academy, and this is their Professional Trio Eyeshadow Kit in Pink Sorbe, and it has a blending shade, a highlighter, and a definer colour in here. I'm going to show you all these products up close, so don't worry if the packaging doesn't translate. Um, <clears throat> But I chose these shades because I actually I just thought they were really pretty and they're kind of like baked eyeshadows. I'm going to use this all over the lid, I'm going to use, use this darker one in my crease and then I'm going to highlight with this one here. So I'm just going to apply that now and see how it fares. Eyeshadow is something that I cannot apply without a mirror just because I'm not really that great at doing my eyeshadow if I'm honest with you, which is probably why I love cream products. Okay, so that's done. It's nice. Nothing really to complain about with that. Then I'm going to take my crease brush and use the darker purple in my crease. Um, this is the darker shade, but I don't think it's going to be too dark. Um, and I'm just going to buff that into my crease. 
then I'm going to take my blending brush and use this kind of pearlescent pink here and just blend everything together just to make sure that there are no harsh edges and nothing weird going on. And yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's nicely pigmented. It's not too much. Um, it's applied really nicely. Don't forget, I'm not wearing a primer, so it probably doesn't look as intense as it might do if I was wearing one. And yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that was £2.50 as well, so really affordable. Now I'm going to move on to some liquid liner and this is by the brand Miss Sporty and I think this was £2, I will check my receipt, I'm going to link everything down below anyway and this is the Pump It Up Booster Cohol, it's meant to be nice and soft and creamy and it's like a thick pencil so I thought that this might be quite similar to my Kajar by Topshop so I'm hoping this is okay and okay so that's done, I actually really like this eyeliner, it's really really good, it's really pigmented, really soft and creamy, I think that this is definitely a contender for me, definitely something that I would repurchase and because it was so cheap and it has really framed my eyes and it's made them like a, a, a focus piece, I really like that a lot, it's really really good, especially if you are looking for like a nice creamy cohol, um, I really really good that one, I really do like it. Okay I'm going to move on to my mascara and this is the Makeup Revolution, the Viper Mascara with Bite, I think this is meant to be a dupe for the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes because the packaging has that kind of snake appeal design and I'm not 100% sure but I think that's what it's meant to be so I'm going to give this a go and this is meant to give length, volume and separate and declump so let's have a see and I'm just going to play, I like the brush, the brush is a really nice shape um, this is okay, it's not as pigmented as I would like you definitely have to stroke the brush through quite a few times before you start to see um, decent enough results for my lashes definitely so I have pretty good lashes as well so if you have really sparse light lashes then you may struggle um, but with a bit of time and a bit of perseverance it does come through and look quite nice I'm just gonna keep applying that now and I actually really like that as well it's again it's not as pigmented as I would have liked um, but it it, you know if you spend a bit of time on it you can definitely get decent enough results and again I think this is all about being on a budget it's all about compromising the price um, and you know instead of paying five times what you would pay for a mascara in some brands take a bit more time take an extra five minutes to apply it and you should get decent enough results I really like that I, you know I would say it's an everyday mascara nothing too dramatic nothing too wow factor wouldn't really use it for a night out because it's not a high enough impact for me but on an everyday basis there's, there's nothing wrong with it at all so I like that as well and I'm going to move on to my last product which is lips so I chose a red lip shock horror and the reason I chose a red lip is because I felt like if everything else fails a red lip will help to draw focus and to bring the look together I was going to opt for a pink because I chose pink eyeshadow but I felt like you know it's festive I'm wearing my Christmas jumper with my stars I'm gonna wear a nice festive red lip and so this is like a matte red lipstick so this is quite, actually quite shocking so I'm really excited to try it so I'm gonna get my mirror and I'm just gonna apply that now Oh, this is beautiful. This is this was a pound as well. That is a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. I am so impressed. The formula is beautiful. It applied really easily. It feels nice and moisturising. It's a matte finish. Star, star product of this tutorial or this look or this complete disaster but I will wear this again, this is beautiful, this is in the shade 13 and was a pound and that's from Makeup Academy so yeah beautiful. So guys this is the finished look and it was all done for a budget of £19.98 so really happy with it, especially the lip like I can see it in the viewfinder and as you can see that contour it has mellowed out quite nicely, it's not as shocking as when I first applied it however you know we are going into the party season so this might be the time to try a bit of contouring because you can get away with it a bit more if you're going for an everyday look perhaps you use the lighter blush shade just to do your cheekbones but I'm really happy with it I don't think it looks like a, a budget face of makeup at all um, and I'm really happy with it so give this video a little like if you enjoyed it and if you would like to see more of these challenges let me know what you think about the look and the product subscribe if you're new and I will see you all soon bye and it will make me look a lot better than usual because at the moment because I'm not very well my skin is looking really tired and dull and 
that's kind of what today's video is about because as we're heading into the colder months, I know we haven't been in the winter yet, but the seasons are definitely clicking. Like, it's really cold where I am at the moment, um, which is quite a rural.